Hi my gorgeous, hi. Hi baby. You gonna say hi to the camera? No, you're gonna get bored. Okay. Um, hi everyone, excuse how I'm looking right now. I realize this is not a good look for me, but more important things have happened than how I look, haven't they? Because we have had this arrive today. It's a very large bag with something very special for the little one in. This is a surprise I've been planning for her for a while, but once I realized how much it was actually gonna cost, I was like, I'm gonna have to save up a little bit of money and do this because I was thinking 20 quid maybe? No, this is costing us about 65 pound, but as you may have noticed, if you look at any photos of Kyra or you've seen her in any of my videos or you've been lucky enough to meet her in person or anything like that, you will know, and as you can see right now, she loves balls so much, don't you? Do you love ball? Do you love ball? Is Mama allowed this? No, she's not. <laughs> but so, um, she's such a good girl. But she's obsessed with balls and toys that look like balls, and she has her other toys, you know, like, oh, careful, baby. She has her other toys, like she has dinosaurs, she has bones, she has things like this. She has like, squeaky boys, don't you? Would you like this? Good girl. <laughs> she has all the toys, but her favorite that she keeps going back to over and over and over again is ball. And it got to the point where even the other day, I bought this like decorative globe for the house um, and she immediately saw it and thought it was a ball and came over and started licking it. It was all very, very cute. What I'm gonna do today is build her a ball pit. Do you want a ball pit? Do you want a ball pit? Yeah. I adored ball pits as a kid. I think we all did. If we get over how gross they probably were and we just don't think about that. So I wanted to build Cairo one and like I say, it's been a little more pricey than I expected, but I think it's gonna be worth it and it's all gonna have multiple uses, I hope. So the idea is, for the actual pit itself, I bought a giant blow up paddle paddling pool, which should hopefully just about fit in this space. It's gonna be a bit of the squash. And then I have 600 plastic balls in these bags. Um, there's 200 in this one, there's 400 more in the spare room. 600 plastic balls. Um, that are gonna fill the ball pit and she's gonna be able to dive in and play with them and chew them and have a lot of fun And then as an extra thing I got these which are some extra balls that I'm supposed to blow up with a pump And they're I think kind of bigger and inflatable But hopefully they still have the bend that she's gonna be able to chew them and pick them up I don't know um, and then after this is all done and everything I'm gonna be able to use this as an actual paddling pool and fill it with some water for her out on the balcony So she can enjoy the Sun and cool off a little bit in the hot summer days that's the plan. So I think overall for the amount of fun it's going to give her, for how much she's going to love it, for how much use she's going to get out of all the little bits individually, I do think it's going to be worth the money, but it just meant it took me a little bit of saving up is all. But that's okay, she's worth it. It's not perfectly round, but I think it's big enough for the purpose we want and inflated enough for what we want. And I am quite out of breath if I'm honest. <laughs> Hello? You going to see what this is? What is it? Oh, what is it? Should you get you a snack and put you in the bedroom? Yeah, well I feel like with balls. We already blew up one ball. I think, yeah, I think this is going to be good. It's rubber, it's squishy enough, she can kind of hold it with her teeth, but I don't think she's going to burst it. I think we should be okay. So I'm gonna put a few of these in. I've got this pack of them, all different colors. I'm trying to fill these to the right amount because I want them to be bouncy enough for her, but I don't want her to pop them when she chews them and for her to scare herself, you know? So I'm, I'm filling these slightly less than you probably would. Oh, they got a good bounce though. Oh, she's gonna love this. She is gonna love these. This thing 
or was a nightmare to blow up, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I haven't filled up anything like this in a long, long time, and um, I didn't really have anything like it as a kid, so I'm not really used to it. Um, and I was blowing and blowing and nothing was going in, I was really confused, and I had to like squeeze the the, the blowy bits, the, the, the blow holes, I don't know what you call them, the valve bits. I had to squeeze them before I blew for the air to actually go in. Once I figured that out, easy. It was just time consuming, but not a problem. But before that, I spent like 20 minutes just like struggling and everything. So I'm hoping I've got the right amount of balls. I did some maths and I found um, this one website that sold like pre put together wall pits, but they were like, the walls were solid and they were kind of permanent, <laughs> permanent ball pit installations essentially, uh, which is not what I want. But I found this one site and it was great because it was like, ball pit is this volume and um but they were all square ones which was another annoying thing but it was like ball pit is this volume and takes this many balls so i was like ah okay so we just get the measurements of this one i work out the volume and then figure out how many balls we need it's just basic all maths i don't think a lot of people who actually no it's not true most people who watch my videos love kyra nearly as much as i do which i love and it warms my heart and it's really nice to see but there are some people who i just don't think understand the bonds that me and her have and I don't even think I can begin to put into words like how special it is. She is my best friend in the world. She's the most wonderful little person I've ever met. Yes, she's a dog and she's an animal. Like a lot of people like to be like, oh, remember she's just an animal. But she's not just an animal, is she? I'm just an animal as well. None of us are just animals. She's this little person with her own little wonderful personality. And she is the most kind hearted, beautiful little soul inside and out. And I love everything about her. She has supported me through everything. She's been there for me through everything. She has literally saved my life. I just, I don't know what I'd do without her. And some people might think this is excessive for just a dog, but she's not just a dog. She's my best friend. She's my daughter. She is my little companion. She's my housemate. She's everything to me. And honestly, a 60 pound ball pit is the least I can do for her, you know? Speaking of which, some people have asked me for um, like how they can send Kyra presents and stuff. Um, if like, but some people want to and it's going be lovely when they do. And um, she does have a little Amazon wish list, which is linked down in the description below, uh, which will automatically send stuff that she wants to us here at home. And um, it's got like chews and toys and snacks, lots of snacks for her on there, uh, which are always appreciated by the little one and she loves it. Um, so you can always do that. Or if there's something else, we do have a PO box, which again, I think should be in the video description. So they're there in case anyone's interested, but as always, absolutely no pressure. Done. Okay, that's the hard bit over. Fun bit now. Balls. Oh, good, they sent the right ones. I had a bit of a nightmare where, so I ordered 200 each of these balls and they only sent me 100 of each and I was like panicking a bit and I was searching the post room like, maybe they've just, just forgotten it. But, as in like, maybe they just like forgot to log it downstairs. Um, but no, they just hadn't sent it and I was really sad, but the company were amazing. And they sent out more balls um, the same day that I like, you know, complained and asked them to. So, very appreciative of that customer service was great um, and then I was like no I think I am gonna need a little more than 400 and I ordered 600 so another 200 and they arrived perfectly all good yeah oh my god this is a lot of balls of course I got pink and purple because she is a feminine little lady you know also I think pink just looks really cute with her fur Spent the last week with these shut in the spare room so Kyra won't see them and get excited by them but I think oh I wanted to show her so badly. I wonder if we should have got more balls. No that's crazy 600 is more than enough. 600 is a ridiculous number of balls. Who has 600 balls in their house? Us now apparently. We do. This is what life has come to. Oh we have an escapee! Come back! Come back! Oh, got him! I kind of want to get in here myself. Look at it. Yeah, no, this is a good number. 600 was a good idea. <laughs> oh my god. I actually spoil her, don't I? 
I know people have told me before, but I actually do. Hey, Cooby Doo. Hi. Do you want to see what's out here? Go on, go have a look. Go on, should we find ball? Should we find ball? Where is it? Go on. Go on. Cooby, what's this? What's this? Is this ball? Are these toys? Are these toys? What's this? Is this ball? Good girl. Good girl. Ready? What's this? Is this ball? Is this ball? You can play. Come on, you can play. Ready? 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 Go! Get it, babe. Come on, in you go. Come on, babe. In. You can do it. Go. Get ball. Should we try putting you in and see what you think? It's okay, you're allowed. Come on. You ready? What's this? Good girl. Good girl. You can do it in your own time. Come on, baby. Go. <laughs> It's just me. <laughs> She's a little unsure at the minute, aren't you, baby? And now I'm just a 28-year-old woman sat alone in a ball pit. This is my life now. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe to say these balls are all going to be chewed a lot over the next few hours, days, whatever. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure these were the best success. Um, the blue one, like I say, literally popped the minute she held it, so that didn't go so well, but yeah, what can you do? And at least it wasn't a loud pop and it didn't scare her, so that's okay. But I'm going to try and get her in here and play more. I'll try and get some photos of her and stuff, which will be very cute. But we have chew marks on the balls, which is what we were looking for. She's got in the ball pit. She's had some fun. I think she'll get braver as time goes on. Like I say, she's not very good at playing with things that she hasn't explicitly been told. This is toy. This is okay. Um, so I think it's going to take her a little bit of time to work up some, some bravery. But I think she'll get there. I believe in her. And she's a good girl. Baby. <laughs> oh no, it's rolled. It's okay. Mama, Mama to the rescue. 